What's happening, Magnesites? I missed this one, but I'm on it. Guys, gotta let me know when I miss something. I appreciate it. Let's get it. I'm going with Vader, because I gotta go with Vader. That's it. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. Although either one could win it's from what I've seen. I sense your fear, your anger, and <laughs> a power. I will be taking it. That power will save this cursed world. You'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Then you will die. There it comes. <laughs> what? Oh, all too easy. Already, yeah. I expected more. <laughs> we'll get more. Okay. This phasing is really helping him. <laughs> Vader is menacing. He is not stopping. <laughs> oh. Is that Cadme's face? Supernatural versus supernatural, in a way. <laughs> Would argue that the Jedi are more scientific than anything. They're able to just control, you know, life force. <laughs> Obito's body, 
but Obito could just as easily rip out Vader's soul. However, Obito had a few more impressive options available to him, edging out just enough to earn a win. For starters, Kamui made Obito extremely difficult just to touch, let alone injure, and as a Jinchuriki, he could regenerate from half of his body getting destroyed. While the dark side could help Vader survive extreme conditions, it obviously can't regrow limbs. Plus, yeah. thanks to his wide array of jutsu, Obito would You'd think he could. Yeah. While Chakra may normally be able to save people from dying. Of force, the Ten Tails provided Obito with an unlimited supply. And since Chakra is both spiritual and physical energy, this means Obito would be able to fight on indefinitely. Last but not least, Vader's preference for lightsaber combat means that he'd be up close and personal with Obito, right? Which left him vulnerable to getting disintegrated by one of the many truth seeking orbs. Or even worse, sucked up into the Kamui dimension. Yeah, don't forget about that. That's not what I was waiting to happen. No way out. He probably wouldn't even be able to tap into the force. That's while what stuck I was waiting to happen. Game over. Have fun starving to death, I guess. Wonder how long you can feed on hate. Darth Vader <laughs> may have had a tenacity that few others could match, but against Obito's similar might, busted regeneration, and overwhelming range of abilities, there was no escape. In the end, Vader's victory just wasn't meant to be. The winner is Obito Uchiha. What's next? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have a new death battle we're releasing every two weeks this year. And click the join button to get new perks and extra content. Planet level members even see death battles before anyone else, so don't miss out. Holy Phoenix versus Raven. See, I don't know much about Raven, so I'm just going to have to go with Phoenix. I know a little bit about Raven. Raven. She's got some dark power, right? Ain't she like the devil's daughter or something like that, I think. Anyway, who did y'all think was going to... Did it go the way y'all thought it was going to go? Is he more powerful than Vader? Um, when he talked about that dimension in the preliminaries, I was like, he could just throw Vader there and then win. So this guy's probably going to win, but I got to go with Vader because I like Vader more. See y'all in the next one. 10 million subscribers. <laughs>